we have an opportunity to today to really take a holistic look at the way the United States Air Force is designed. If we had an opportunity to change the way we are structured, the way we're organized, the way we're designed to be able to compete against China or Russia, would we? What we do as leaders today or don't do is extremely important. Are we going to really capitalize on Action Order D or not? I think success for the future of PME will not look like anything that it looks like today. But I think what we need in the future, what, what the Air Force um, that our nation needs is a PME that is agile, that is dynamic, um, that is ready to provide the future generation of leaders what it needs to succeed. Way back 29 years ago, 30 years ago, air, land, and sea. Today, air, land, and sea, but our, our peer competitors would sure appreciate if they can capitalize on space, cyber, and information and not even allow us an opportunity to get to the fight. And so we've got to start to change the way we think about warfare. So you're gonna see a lot of changes. As we evolve our way of educating the force of the future, um, the mindset, that everybody has to have. The mindset of those who we entrust to lead us and to teach us, the mindset of our um, commanders and our senior enlisted leaders, um, and the mindset of the students. Like we have to be ready um, to prepare our minds for whatever could happen. And we certainly have to be ready for a high-end fight, whether it's operational, tactical, strategic, um, how we, train and educate the force, um, we've got to be ready for that mindset. We have more challenges, more threats. You know, we've got to teach mission command and we've got to make sure that our airmen know that we trust them and they want it. So I would offer the culture and the climate that you set as, as a commander and a command team is, is huge. I'm excited that we actually have our command teams that are um, working together, training together and spending time together. Um, I think the command team structure itself provides like the diverse perspective that you need um, from cognitive diversity and experiential diversity, which ultimately leads to success. We are entrusted to lead um, a diverse group of people and that's what makes us so strong in the military. And so to be able to have strong command teams, both commander and your senior enlisted leader, is critical to us um, remaining the strongest Air Force in the world.